am I, where do I get my free speech back exactly? How far out would I have to go? <laughs> For the best liberty-oriented talk 24-7, visit lrn.fm. Mr. Shaughnessy, question. Yes, sir. I'm audio taping. What is this about people, I got the impression, not being allowed to yell or not being allowed to shout out to folks coming by? Right. You can't campaign in this area right here. So if you were Donald Trump, you can't <laughs> solicit somebody saying, hi, I'm Donald Trump, vote for me. So you can't, um, as the people are coming by here, advocate. You can hold a sign within these areas. But well, if I'm standing over here, outside the walkway, can I speak to the people coming by? No. If they choose to speak to you, yes. But you can't, you can't uh, actively try to solicit for a vote as they're coming in to this area. Can I say, um, I, I mean, there, so there are limits to what I can say to them while they're walking past? But well, you can't election here in this 10 foot, this free zone from here to here, there's no electioneering. So I where am I, where do I get my free speech back exactly? How far out would I have to go? <laughs> I was the one who was, when I first got this job, was opposed to saying you have to take your political pins off or your t-shirts. I said, we don't have a statute that says that here and that's unconstitutional. Well, they just passed a statute. It became effective June 14th. Uh -huh. So people have to take their pins off, their t-shirts, their hats, when they go in, into this area, that's election area. So. So I if I, I if I'm constitutional statute to begin with, but that's the legislature, and I have to enforce the rules and well, laws that they. Do you have to enforce something that's a violation of the New Hampshire Constitution, though? Um, if it hasn't been struck down by the court, I have no. I don't think I have any legal authority to ignore the what the legislature has passed. Well, it's refreshing to see someone saying they have restrained powers, <laughs> but uh, at the same time, should we be leaving everything to the courts? Um, well, I think that's the way our system is. If the legislature passes something that's unconstitutional, it's up to somebody to bring it to the courts, and then a standing is a different yeah. issue. But bring it to the courts and have it found constitutional. As a matter of fact, I mean, right now, the whole thing of taking a photo of your ballot, I was never enforcing that here because it's not illegal to take a photo of your ballot. It's disseminating it. And they're not disseminating it in my polling place. Yeah, I see what you're saying. But now the uh, federal district court struck down that statute, and it's being argued today at the First Circuit Court of Appeals. So if, if I were to stand here uh, as people are walking by and say the word uh, Riazzo loud enough so that someone could hear it as they were walking by, would I be in violation of the law? I don't think so. I think if you're saying vote for Riazzo, if your activity is trying to promote a candidate or an issue that's on the ballot, if you're in this area, then yes, that would be electionary. And what would you do exactly if someone walked into that area with a, with a shirt on that said Ron Paul? Or something. Ron Paul's not on the ballot. So it wouldn't uh, matter to you. Yeah. Uh, and if it said. So like um, I said, Trump, Spence, or Hillary right now, they're not part of this election, so they're not electioneering for that. But and if, I if had it's a, disruptive to my polling place, I yeah. can ask them to leave. If I had a sign that said Edelblue on my shirt, if my shirt just said Edelblue and I walked in there, what would you do to me? I would ask you to either cover the shirt up or to remove yourself from the polling place. What if I took my shirt off? You could do that. <laughs> okay. probably I probably am not the one to do it, but someone should sooner or later. You could do that. Okay. It. Mr. Shaughnessy, I, mean, I, I... A lot of places have had, you know, like a jacket or a linen jacket to cover it up. Yeah. So I want to do it today. It's too hot. All right. I appreciate the straight answers. So thank you. you take care. Is that a question? Oh, yes. How's it going, by the way? <laughs> I'm, I'm still recording. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm standing here with, with Anne Marie Banfield from the Bedford Taxpayers Association, and I think you heard snippets of that conversation. Yeah. You have other concerns. But what, what's your main concern about the restrictions around here? LRN.FM, 24 hours of Liberty Radio every day. Now available on satellite, too, at sat. Dot lrn dot fm. That's what a satellite sounds like. Put it on your unlicensed station. Wear it in your hair. But above all, don't despair. The liberty message is getting out. And right now, you're missing it. Or maybe you're not. But skip on over to lrn dot fm. Feds don't want you to hear them.